welcome back dear students we are going to start question number 6 from problem set question number 6 is in triangle pqr pq equals to root 8 qr equals to root 5 pr equals to root 3 is triangle pqr is a right angle triangle if yes which angle is of 90 degree so solution in triangle PQR, PQ equals to root 8, QR equals to root 5, PR equals to root 3. Now first, PR square equals to root 3 square, root 3 square is 3. Next one, QR square is root 5 square, root 5 square is 5. And next one, PQ square is root 8 square, root 8 square is 8. We know that PR square plus QR square. PQ square equals to root 8 square, root 8 square is 8 is equation number 1 and PR square plus QR square, PR square is 3 and QR square is 5. So 3 plus 5 is also 8. So from equation 1 and equation 2, the square of largest side is equal to sum of square of remaining two sides. So PR square plus QR square equals to PQ square from equation 1 and 2 so by converse of Pythagoras theorem given triangle is right angle triangle and PR and QR forms right angle so angle PQR PRQ is 90 degree PR and QR forms right angle so PRQ equals to 90 degree next one question number 3 from problem set triangle REST S equals to 90 degree T equals to 30 degree RT equals to 12 centimeter then find length of RES and ST so first in triangle REST angle S equals to 90 degree angle T equals to 30 degree RT equals to 12 centimeter angle R equals to 60 degree we know that two angles are given one is 90 degree, other is 30 degree, so remaining angle is 60 degree, sum of angle, so triangle equals to 180 degree. So triangle REST is 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle. If the angles of triangle are 30, 60, 90 degree, then side opposite to 30 degree is half of the hypotenuse. So REST is half of RT. Therefore, REST equals to half of RT is 12 half of 12 is 6 cm, RS equals to 6 cm and side opposite to 60 degree, ST is root 3 by 2 times of hypotenuse, hypotenuse is RT, so root 3 by 2 into RT then is side opposite to 60 degree is root 3 by 2 times of hypotenuse, so ST equals to root 3 by 2 into 12, 2 6 are 12, so ST equals to 6 root 3 cm. So RS equals to 6 cm and ST equals to 6 root 3 cm. Next one, question number 4. Find the diagonal of a rectangle whose length is 16 cm and area is 192 square cm. So first we draw one triangle. Sorry, one quadrilateral quadrilateral PQRS is rectangle length of diagonal PR equals to 10 root 2 side PS and QR equals to 16 cm now PQRS is rectangle and area of rectangle is 192 square cm diagonal of rectangle divides the rectangle into two equal triangles means area of triangle PQR equals to area of triangle PSR equals to half of area of quadrilateral PQRS. We know that this diagonal PR divides the quadrilateral into two equal triangle and area of these two triangles are equals. So area of triangle PQR, area of triangle PSR equals to half of area of quadrilateral PQRS. So one half of 192 is 96 means area of triangle PQR and area of triangle PSR equals to 96 cm square. Triangle PQR 
एंगल पी क्यू आर इक्व टू नाइन्टी डिग्री एंगल ऑफ रेक्टेंगल पी क्यू इज परपेंडिकुलर टू क्यू आर नाउ एरिया ऑफ ट्रेंगल पी क्यू आर इक्व टू हाफ इन टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर साइड्स इज हाफ इन टू यू कैन से पी क्यू इन टू क्यू आर नाउ नेक्स्ट नाइन्टी सिक्स इक्व टू हाफ ऑफ पी क्यू इन टू क्यू आर नाइन्टी सिक्स वी ट्रांसफर दिस टू इन टू लेफ्ट साइड सो नाइन्टी सिक्स इंटू टू इक्व टू पी क्यू इंटू सिक्सटीन लेंथ ऑफ क्यू आर इज सिक्सटीन सेंटीमीटर सो नाइन्टी सिक्स इंटू टू डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटीन वी ट्रांसफर दिस सिक्सटीन इंटू लेफ्ट साइड सो नाइन्टी सिक्स इंटू टू बाई सिक्सटीन पी क्यू इक्व टू सिक्सटीन सिक्स आर नाइन्टी सिक्स सो सिक्स इंटू टू पी क्यू इक्व टू ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर सो वी हैव पी आर स्क्वेर इक्व टू पी क्यू स्क्वेर प्लस क्यू आर स्क्वेर बाय पाइथागोर स्थिरम सो पी आर स्क्वेर इक्व टू ट्वेल्व स्क्वेर प्लस सिक्सटीन स्क्वेर ट्वेल्व स्क्वेर इज वन फोर्टी फोर सिक्सटीन स्क्वेर इज टू फिफ्टी सिक्स टेर फोर पी आर स्क्वेर इक्व टू फोर हंड्रेड एंड स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ पी आर स्क्वेर मीन स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड इज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर सो लेंथ ऑफ डायगोनल ऑफ रेक्टेंगल इज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर so next one next question is five find the length of side and perimeter of an equilateral triangle whose height is 3 cm root 3 cm now we draw triangle abc is equilateral triangle in equilateral triangle height is root 3 cm this am is height am equals to root 3 cm am is perpendicular to bc in triangle amb angle amb equals to 90 degree angle abm angle abm equals to 60 degree therefore remaining angle bam equals to 30 degree again there is one correction angle amb equals to 30 degree this is given but instead of angle amb that is angle bam equals to 30 degree bam equals to 30 dekho amb ka major hai 90 degree angle abm ka major hai 60 degree so remaining angle bam ka major hoga 30 degree so triangle amb is 30 60 90 degree triangle we know that side opposite to 30 degree is half of the hypotenuse and side opposite to 60 degree is root 3 by 2 times of hypotenuse so am equals to root 3 by 2 times of ab side opposite to 60 degree is root 3 by 2 times of hypotenuse so am equals to root 3 Means root three equals to root three by two into a. We transfer this root three by two into left side, so we get a equals to two by root three into root three. Root three root three cancel. A equals to two. So the length of side of equilateral triangle is two units. Perimeter of triangle. We know that perimeter of any triangle is sum of three side. Triangle is equilateral triangle, so AB plus BC plus AC means two plus two plus two equals to six unit. So perimeter of triangle is six unit. Next question. In triangle ABC, AP is median. If BC equals to eighteen, AB square plus AC square equals to two sixty. Find the length of AP. So we draw one triangle. In triangle ABC, AP is median on side BC. So we know that if the length of BC equals to 18 and P is midpoint of BC, so BP is half of BC. Means BP equals to BC by 2, 18 by 2. BP equals to 9 centimeter. We know that. In given AB square plus AC square equals to two sixty, so AB square plus AC square equals to two AB square plus two BP square. This is Apollonius theorem in triangle ABC. So 
a b square plus a c square is 260 equals to 2 into a p square plus 2 into 9 square length of b p equals to 9 b p square means 9 square next step 260 equals to taking two common in bracket a p square plus 9 square 2 transferring to left side 260 divided by 2 equals to a p square plus 81 next step 130 equals to a p square plus 81 a p square equals to 130 minus 81 a p square equals to 49 a p equals to square root of 49 a p equals to 7 centimeter so this is the answer question number next question number 7 triangle a b c is equilateral triangle point p is on base b c such that p c equals to 1 by 3 times of b c if a b equals to 6 find the length of a p in triangle ABC, triangle ABC is equilateral triangle means AB equals to BC equals to AC equals to 6. Now, in given PC equals to 1 by 3 times of BC, we have to find length of AP. So, to find length of AP, we take triangle ABC is equilateral triangle. This is given AB equals to BC equals to AC equals to 6 centimeter and PC equals to 1 by 3 times of BC. Length of BC is given. BC equals to 6. So, PC equals to 1 by 3 into 6. PC equals to 3 to the This PC equals to 2 cm. Now, next draw AD is perpendicular to side BC. If we draw AD is perpendicular to side BC, then we have AB equals to AC. So, BD equals to DC equals to BC by 2. BD equals to DC equals to BC by 2 by converse of perpendicular bisector theorem. AD is perpendicular bisector of BC. So, DC equals to 6 by 2, DC equals to 3. Now, we just find PC equals to 2 and DC equals to 3. So, length of DP, DP equals to 3 minus 2 equals to 1 dp equals to dc minus pc so pd equals to 1 dp equals to 1 or pd equals to 1 now in right angle triangle adp angle adp equals to 90 degree so angle apc is obtuse angle therefore by application of pythagoras theorem for obtuse angle application of Pythagoras theorem for optus angle is AC square equals to CP square plus AP square plus 2CP into PD. AC square means 6 square equals to 2 square plus AP square plus 2 into 2 into 1. Now we know that 6 square is 36 equals to 2 square is 4 plus AP square equals to 2 into 2 4 into 1 4 this 4 plus 4 8 so ap square equals to 36 minus 8 ap square equals to 28 ap equals to square root of 28 square root of 28 factors of 28 such that one number is square number and the factors are 4 into 7 so ap equals to taking square root of 4 ap equals to 2 root 7 they could their students AC square equals to CP square plus AP square plus 2 CP into PD this is application of Pythagoras theorem for obtuse angle AC equals to 6 CP equals to 2 CP equals to 2 PD equals to 1 so AC square means 6 square CP square means 2 square CP means 2 into 2 2 into CP means 2 into 2, 2 into 2, 4 into 1, 4, 2 square is 4, this is 36, 4 plus 4, 8, 36 minus 8, so AP square equals to 28, square root of AP square equals to 28, now factors of 28 so that one number is square number, so 4 into 7, 4 into 7, 28, and square root of 4 is 2, so AP equals to 2 root 7 centimeter. Thank you.